Hi guys, today I'm going to do a flip through of my new Mr. Darcy in burgundy. Um, it's a pocket size. I got this right before um, I went on my trip to Belgium and I have it pretty stuffed right now actually. I've been testing out more inserts because um, I ordered a speckled fawns chunky, a one and a half inch spine, so that's with six elastics, so I wanted to see how I liked um, having more notebooks, but actually the Mr. Darcy is handling it pretty well. Um, I have an inscription, Just Breathe, on the front. Um, and I asked for a piece of leather that possibly had more variation in it. I don't know if you, you can kind of see. Um, so I was really happy that Jennifer was able to get me a piece like that. Inside. Um, in the front pockets, I'm not using this as my wallet. I know I had my um, Black Mr. Darcy set up as my wallet, and I decided to switch my planner and some other things into this notebook, and my wallet is literally just my wallet and um, one booklet that has... Um, lists of like grocery shopping lists and things like that um, just because I wasn't needing the planner portion of my um, traveler's notebook while I was using my wallet and I didn't need my wallet while I was planning in it so I decided to separate the two and plus it's another excuse to have a beautiful uh, traveler's notebook another one <laughs> Um, in the front pockets, I have just some paper clips, I have a picture of my husband and I, some notes, stamps, and I just keep a little bit of extra cash in here just in case. Um, you'll see a lot of the same things that are in, were in my flip through from uh, my black traveler's notebook, my black Sheik Sparrow Darcy, Mr. Darcy. Um, this is a folder from Dory's Dory folders and things on Etsy and in it I just have some planner stickers and some other stickers and things like that and this is all on the first elastic this is piggybacked right here with my uh, monthly calendar and I drew this out already in a field, no field notes um, I have some birthdays in here and this is some passwords and things like that. This was the flight information that when my husband and I went to Belgium. Um, my wish list, video ideas, uh, favorite shops for traveler's notebooks, and then I have room for whatever else I want to put in there. On the second elastic, I have my bullet journal. And around that, I have this really cool dashboard that came from Foxy Fix. And it has, like, it comes without the paper. It has, um, it's just blank inside. And there are two pockets on the front and back. And on it I put sticky notes, and in it I put my favorite paper that I have from Paper Source. And it's like mermaid print gold leaf paper. I mean, it's fish scales, but in my mind it's mermaid print. And just some sticky notes on the front. And you could change that out or whatever you want to do with it. And then I have my bullet journal, which in the beginning I was decorating a lot more. Like I was kind of using all my stickers and now I've been really just crazy busy. So it's got kind of plain, but that's okay. I guess that's the beauty of a bullet journal. You can kind of do whatever you need to. And then that's on my second elastic. On my third elastic is a new insert for me and that's a fitness tracker. I do, like I work out like five times a week. And I do this set of workouts on YouTube. They're called Vivace workouts from um, a girl that does them um, on her channel. And they're anywhere from like 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes long. So inside, I just put my goals on the front. I'll put it on a sticky for now, but maybe I'll make that more permanent. And then each day, I put the workout, with the number that I did, and then the actual workout. And... Then I do the rounds and I, I see how many reps I got, I guess, for each each one. And then I put just some notes on the workout equipment I used. And just so it's something to look back on. I know she always says to write it down, 
and I never did, but now I figured it's a perfect time to do it, and then I could look back and see how much I improved if I do the workout again. I think she has like a hundred and something workouts, um, so I can go back and, and see how I did. Then in the back of that, I just have a tracker, because my goal was to do five workouts a week, so I just put an X on the days that I did it. And also on the third elastic, I have something that's new to me, which is a journal for um, in a pocket size because I've normally been journaling in a narrow size but I have a really busy schedule sometimes like I get home really late from work and sometimes like I want to journal but it takes so much time and you have to prep the page and I don't know it becomes very extensive and it's a little daunting sometimes so I thought that maybe documenting just to be able to journal in a a smaller book would be easier and that's what I, I've been doing for the past like week and a half or so and I, I really really like it um, and I kind of just write a little bit each day and maybe a stupid little doodle or something um, I have a stamp from my new pen pal Jennifer in there um, and yeah so it's really easy and I don't feel bad prepping the pages and just having a place to write um, because in the past I never prepped my pages because I always wanted to use whatever memorabilia from the day that I wanted to journal about. So I, I felt bad prepping the page and then maybe having a different plan in mind than um, I had already prepped. So this is a, a fun way to like smear some of my distress stains on the paper, doodle and whatever, and it's not so uh, high maintenance or time consuming. Um, and a lot of the girls from the Traveler's Notebook groups on Facebook were very encouraging when I asked if people use more than one journal, because at first I felt kind of funny using another journal when I already journal somewhere else. Um, but a lot of them said that they ha did the same and they just kind of let it develop organically, so that's what I've been doing. And it turned into this for me, more of a laid back daily kind of journaling. So it's a lot of fun so far, um, and I'll see how I keep up with it. And then on the last elastic, I have the zip pouch, and I just have some washi tape on cards, just because I have my journal in here, so I wanted to have uh, something with me if I wanted to put some washi in. Um, then on the back, this has a long slip pocket. This is just a picture of my husband and I on our honeymoon wedding in Cancun. Um, yeah, it was gorgeous there, so it's nice to look back at that blue water. And the last notebook is literally, oh my god, I'm sorry if you hear my cat. He's like singing and running around with my hat in his mouth. Okay. Anyway, my last insert is a brain dump, basically. It's just literally notes on anything or any random scribblings or things I need to write down I put in back here and that's working also really well I've filled it up a lot actually and I wasn't expecting to have that much random stuff to write um, and then this is just the back pocket of the zip pouch I have some good luck coins I guess this one's from my student uh, that she, she wrapped a coin in tinfoil and said it was good luck and then this is actually from I don't know random fact that if you apparently give a knife, I got a knife for my husband in Belgium and I gave it to him, but apparently it's bad luck if you give a knife to a friend or a loved one. So in order, because it cuts the friendship or relationship or something, so in order to combat that bad luck, the receiver of the gift is supposed to give you the smallest denomination coin that they have on them. Um, to show that d money doesn't matter and I don't know exactly why but that's what you're supposed to do when you give a knife so this is a one cent euro from my husband when we were in Belgium and I got him that knife so that's that um, those are just some stickies there's some um, project life cards it's a little sticky thing I have my Twisby on here and then I just have my highlighter attached to like some silly washi pen loop I made for uh, my fitness book. And that's that, and it's actually holding up pretty well. 
I also have some of those dangly book charms that Sarah Jean uh, made on her channel um, that she put in her notebooks and I thought they were really cute so I just made some and used them as bookmarks to mark my place in there. Um, if you have any other questions or want to know about where I got anything or anything like that or have any other video ideas I would love to know because I don't know what else to do besides flip throughs or unboxings. <laughs> Um, so if anyone has any ideas, uh, that would be awesome. And if you're interested in a flip through of my Belgium trip, just let me know and I could very easily film that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!